Hey everybody, I'm live. It's John Hope Bryant, founder, chairman, and chief executive officer of Operation Hope. Coming to you straight, no chaser, from Latin America, from Mexico. I'm the founder, chairman, and CEO of Operation Hope, the CEO of Bryant Group Ventures and Promise Homes Company, author of several books. The memo is coming out uh, next month, September 18th, so pre-order your copy. Tell your friends to like and follow this page. So, um, rainbows only follow storms. You heard me say that it's about to rain here in Mexico. I'm gonna have to go inside in a moment. Uh, but uh, hey, Angela, how are you? Rainbows only follow storms. Don't don't avoid the don't avoid the storm. Hey, Smith, lovely. Just, uh, I think uh, I think it was Smith. Smith, lovely was your name. Uh, uh, Hattiesburg, Mississippi, in the house. I love being there. Hey, EJ. Never avoid the storms in your life. Never avoid. Hey, Mark, the problems in your life. Never avoid the changes in your life. Uh, hey, Dijon. Uh, embrace them because uh, change is constant. Change is real. So, hey, Tiffany. So let's let's get into. Got the book order. Hey, Mark. Fantastic. Tell your friends to grab grab their copy. Hey, uh, Izel and Ronald. God bless you back. So, I embrace storms. I don't go run away from my problems. I run to them. In fact, it, it's it's starting to overcast a little bit here. I may just stay out here in the rain and enjoy it. There we go. You guys like that? Okay. So when when a problem when a problem faces me. I go over to round it, through it. I'm going to get to it. The problem knows that the problem is their problem, not my problem. I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm not going to step away, hey Brandy. I'm not going to step away from anything, uh, any child. Hey, a a April. Uh, hey, Roderick Murray. I'm not stepping away from any challenge or any problems. I'm coming at you straight, and no chaser. Uh, uh, Smith, uh, Bessie, email Operation Hope. Uh, one of my people, one of my counselors in your area, they'll be glad to help you. Tell them I sent you. So it's raining out here. Uh, rain is rain, rain not going to hurt me, <laughs> okay? So God gave us rain. God gave us weather. Uh, a lot of my friends complain uh, about whatever freeway they're on because, you know, it's there's traffic. Without understanding, God gave you a freeway. They complain that, they, you know, it's raining because they, they want sunshine. Then when it gets sunshine, they complain that it's too hot. Basically, God can't make, a, can't make you happy. <laughs> can't make me happy. Whatever's going on, we want it to be different. Um, uh, a Lashawn. Uh, so just just re re just understand that we're all basically a little distressed, depressed, unhappy, uh, uh, and uh, nobody can make us happy. And we are always feeling a little a anxious about life. How about just embrace it? Terrence says exactly. How about just embrace it? Embrace wherever you are. Um, so if it's raining, love it, because <laughs> God gave you rain, and somewhere in the world they're hoping to have some rain. They're hoping to have some water. If it's sunny outside, say, God bless, this is fantastic. And somewhere in the world, you guys gave me a thumbs up on that? Great. Somewhere in the world, uh, people are never satisfied. Sean said, exactly. Hey, Iris Smith from Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, half full versus half empty. Jennifer, exactly, right? Um, so some place in the world, uh, they're, they're cold as I don't know what. They're in Antarctica or wherever they are. They're in Iceland. They were hoping to have some sun, but you have sun and you're unhappy with it. Uh, you know, whatever's going on, uh, there's a blessing in it. As Jennifer said, the world, the, it should be half full, not half empty. You guys, you guys with me there? You better say that, Smith said, exactly. So whether you believe you can or whether you believe you can't, mindset, that's right, Terrence. Whether you believe you can or whether you believe you can't, you're absolutely right. Mississippi here, hey, Nicole McLaren. Uh, whether, hey, Buffalo, Stephen. Whether you believe you can or whether you believe you can't, hey, Angela Hunter, you're absolutely right right so what's your mindset so let's talk about this freeway because I was talking to a friend of mine who uh, is a really smart person really inspiring person but somewhere in her life her mother told you told her you ain't nothing somewhere in her life her father or her uncle or somebody said you can't do anything somebody someplace in her life people crapped on her and even though she's pretty they said thank you Juan I am an optimistic brother even though she's pretty somebody said you're fat you're overweight that's right Patrick adapt they said, you can't do anything. They said, you'll never mount anything. That was their own pain talking. I've got somebody who's, who's, who I love in my own life, who's here with me in Mexico, whose own mother told her that she was slow. You know what that does to a child? No, the reality is her mother's jealous of her because her mother screwed up her life. And I told her, even though somebody gives birth to you, doesn't make them wise. I mean, a, a crack addict can have a baby, okay? A prostitute, a prostitute with no moral authority can have a baby. A drug dealer who ain't concerned about his community can have a baby. Uh, uh, anybody can have a baby, but not, everybody, but not everybody can be a father or a mother. 
So are you a father or mother? Are you just a baby daddy? Smith says, I have heard that, yeah. Uh, Ida, very true. Are you just a baby daddy or baby mama? Or are you taking some responsibility for your life? Are you, are you owning your whole deal and realizing, watch how you live your life. It may be the only, hey Loretta, the only Bible anybody else reads. I'm gonna say that again. Watch how you live your life. It may be the only Bible that anybody else reads. You are role modeling. This is your legacy. What are you doing about it? How are you walking in your life? Are you are you profiling? Are you are you staying true to you? So now let's now pivot. Hey Courtney, hey uh, hey Courtney, my cousin, uh, uh, you just had some something to celebrate recently. Hey Qu uh, Kevin Quincy Jones, uh, so let's uh, let's deal with this. Uh, and Courtney, your uh, uh, Emma's here by the way, so giving her some love. So so, uh, are you getting off of the right off ramp? Are you getting on the right on ramp on your life? So people who love you, we save our worst behavior for those we care the most about. Hey, hey, Gina, Jay, we save our worst behavior. I'm an addict for success. I love that, Smith. We save our worst behavior for those we care the most about. Why? Because if I don't like me, I'm not going to like you. If I don't feel good about me, I'm not going to feel good about you. If I don't respect me, I can't respect you. Hey, Daryl Bennett, if I don't love me, I don't know how to love you. And if I don't have a purpose in my life, I'm going to make your life a living hell. So I have friends who... Well, a friend of mine, very, very smart, attractive, whatever, went to a went to a cigar bar. First time I just need to do so. So look, I came inside, you guys, because uh, thanks for the person who just donated. Um, yeah, I know it froze, Brandy. Uh, I had to go from outside to inside. I'm sorry about that, Smith. So I'm in Mexico. Sorry about that. Uh, hey, Debo. Uh, hey, Angela Cruz. So, uh, you'll be able to watch this on replay, by the way. Hey, Loretta, it froze, I know. You'll be able to watch it on replay, it'll be clear. Um, so, so, if you're on the freeway of your life, keep driving by strip clubs, by, by VIP bars, by people wasting your time, by people telling you you're ugly, by people telling you that you can't do anything, by people telling you you can't be, can't be successful, by people who so hold and love you, who are playing, hating, player hating you, who are stepping on your self-esteem, stepping on your identity stepping on your dreams who's saying that can't and impossible i mean i'm just i'm just allergic to negative people you guys like that okay good you should be allergic to negative people you can love them but stay away from them they will drive you crazy and they want you to be broke just like them because misery loves company so so this a friend of mine was like i can't realize i can't understand why i'm not happy because you're looking for love in all the wrong places because you're digging in all the wrong holes. And if you're digging in the wrong holes, no matter how long you dig and how heavy you dig, you're never going to find your destination. So if you're going down the wrong road and, going, and, and you're going faster down the wrong, wrong road, you just get lost more intensely. You've got to, thank you, Smith, uh, for donating to Operation Hope. You've got to turn around. Don't go faster down the wrong road. Stop. Hit the brakes. Hit the U-turn. Hey, Daryl, yes, exactly. Hit the U-turn and go back. The other way, Tiffany Greer, thank you. Go back the other way, Loretta says, yes, say that. And, and, and go, sometimes going backwards is actually going forwards. If you're going the wrong direction and you keep going further in that wrong direction faster, you're actually getting more lost. Did you hear me? Let me know you guys understand what I'm saying here. You actually, in order to go, and, and sometimes you go faster and you got to go slower. Sometimes you go far enough from the North Pole, you end up south. Uh, he's talking about the difference between self-esteem and confidence, Jennifer says. Okay, but let me get this point out. If you go far, if you go on in the wrong, the wrong uh, uh, way, the, the faster you go, the more lost you are. So you hang out with the wrong crowd, you're, you're not pursuing your dreams, you're sleeping all the time, you're, you're partying all the time, you're actually, it actually feels good, but you're not making any progress in your life. You, you're, so, so you've got to reset your, your, your identity. So a friend of mine here wants me to, to differentiate self-esteem and confidence. So if you have confidence but low self-esteem, the world will drag you all over this place. If, it, it is possible to have high confidence, but if, your, but if your parents told you you weren't, I'll just say it, you ain't shit, you ain't nothing, you can't do nothing, you're a failure, you're an idiot, or your, or your uncle molested you, or... or, uh, or or somebody degraded you growing up, 
then you got low self-esteem. You actually don't feel good about yourself. So no matter how much I tell you you're cute, you think you're ugly. No matter how much I tell you you're smart, you think you're dumb. Then the opinion of others actually matters more to you than it should. So when some racist says you're a nigga, you go off because that then that speaks to your, you actually think that's about your identity. If you're a Latino and some calls you, come and calls you a wetback, you go off because you think that speaks to your identity. If, and, and if you're Caucasian, I don't know, if somebody calls you, I don't know, a, a, a redneck or something, you may go off because you think that speaks to your identity. But let me tell you something. Once you have high self-esteem and not just high confidence, here's how you think about that. It's what Reverend Murray told me. It's not what people call you. It's what you answer to that's important. And never, ever, ever answer out of your name. Give me some love here. Let me know you, think, you, know, let me know you know what I'm talking about. I'm waiting for you. Maybe, maybe you didn't like what I just said. Maybe you didn't get what I just said. Okay, no, you did. All right, cool. Now, let me know you with me. It's, I'm going to repeat it. It's not what people call you. Hey, James Nelson. It's what you answer to that's important. And never, ever, ever answer out of your name. Thanks for everybody who's sharing this video, by the way. I see you sharing it right now. Chad says amen. That's right, Daryl. Don't let anybody define you. That's right, Terrence. This is about the other person's insecurities. Exactly right. Now you guys are starting to get it. That's right. It's, and so here's the second part of that. It's not what people call you. It's what you answer to that's important. Never, ever answer out of your name. And then I added to argue, hey, Bridget Washington, to argue with a fool. That's my friend of mine, Bridget Washington. To argue with a fool proves there are two. Hey, Chantel. Hey, uh, Melvin. To argue with a fool proves there are two. Uh, Sabrina says, I agree. To argue with a fool proves there are two. I'm not going to argue with you if you out your mind. You can script, skip, uh, scream, holler, jump up and down, say I'm a fool. I'm just going to sit there and stare at you. Because what you say has no reflection on me. What you feel about me is about you, not about me. So you can sit in your, in your misery if you want to. I'm not joining you at that pity party. So you got to get on your freeway. This is about building wealth. First wealth starts in your heart, your soul, your mind, your spirit. You have to build the soul in your heart, your mind, your spirit. That's right, I had to prove them wrong. Before you can build any wealth in your pocket. And there's a difference, as I say in my book, the memo coming out next month. Hey, uh, uh, Hilda, Haley, thank you. There's a difference between being, getting rich and, getting, and building wealth. Bridget says I really needed to hear this today. To, be, to get rich, any, almost anybody can do that. A pimp can get rich. A prostitute can get rich. A gang dealer can get rich. A, 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 a criminal can get rich. Rich. A rap star can get rich. I mean, a, 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 a capitalist, selfish jerk can get rich, right? But, 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 but a fool and his money will soon. I am, I am praying for Houston, Justin. My, my sister's there. I have a team going there for Hope Coalition America. By the way, we are not just praying for Houston. We're showing up in Houston. Go to Hope Coalition America. Call them if you need help. Tell your friends who, who need help to call us too. Um, so a pimp, a prostitute, a criminal, a, a, a capitalist, crook, they all, they all can get rich. But a fool and his money is soon parted. So they can get rich, but they're not wealthy. And at some point, they're going to lose it all because they're tripping on the wrong stuff. And Ambassador Andrew Young said, he says teach, that men and women fail for three reasons. Arrogance, pride, and greed. Arrogance, pride, and greed. Daryl said, uh, get the memo, I just ordered mine. Thank you. By the way, everybody should pre-order the book, The Memo, let's make it a bestseller. Uh, somebody just said, absorbing the message. Hey, Justin Johnson. Hey, Yolanda Frazier. Hey, hey, see, good, great, great to see you back. Uh, I need you leading, uh, Yolanda, one of these civil rights clubs. So let me know which club you're going to be leading, because I need your leadership. You and a couple others are just key to this movement. So you got the right spirit. So you got to get on... Uh, that's right, Terrence. Arrogance, pride, and greed. That's what caused people to fail. Men and women. Arrogance, pride, and greed. And below that, under uh, going to order your copy. Thanks, Bridget. Uh, of the memo. Under that are, is massive insecurities. Ah, uh, it says a bad combination. Exactly. Um, driving all of this is massive insecurities. So, the, so the way you got you got to get on your road. See, I got thunder showers coming here in a minute. But I'm still talking to you. I'm still. I still think this is beautiful weather. It thunder showers, screaming, hollering. You know rain, whatever, I still think it's beautiful weather because I decide what my weather is. You need to decide what your weather is inside of your spirit, your soul, and your life. Don't let ever other people define who you are, what you are. Life is 10% what life does to you and 90% how you choose to respond to it. Sabrina, how do you order the book? Go to Amazon.com is the easiest place, all right? It'll be in bookstores and all this stuff, but you can go to, you can do that. Hello from Baton Rouge, it's Herman. 
Uh, so get on that freeway and keep driving. Stay very focused because insecure people will get distracted. Insecure people, you, you can have high confidence, but somebody can give you low self-esteem by punishing you for being a child or punishing you for being imperfect, which is, just means you're human, right? So, so you got to learn to love you first. I can't love you unless I love me first. I can't like you unless I like me first, right? Thank you, Smith, for donating, Smith Bessie, um, for donating Operation Hope. I can't do anything for you. Hello from Houston, Edna. We're with you. Our prayers are with you. I can't do anything for you unless I do it for me first. What do you feel about you? Do you love you? Yes, you do. Choose to respond, not react, which means get on that freeway and stay focused on your objective, your goal. Figure out what you're passionate about. Figure out what your purpose is, right? For Yolanda says, I love me to death. Exactly. Figure out what your purpose is. Become obsessively focused on that. Don't get distracted by all these people trying to pull you off into their uh, abyss of failure and, lo and low expectations. And as a friend of mine told me, who I love, low frequency conversations. Stay focused on your high frequency agenda. And don't get off of an off ramp or don't get on an on ramp until you see it with your name on it. So that's people, somebody says, well, I'm not happy. I don't understand why I'm not happy. Because you're looking for love in all the wrong places. You think it's going to be at a party. You think it's going to be in a new pair of pumps. You think it's going to be in a new suit. You think it's going to be in a new car. You think it's going to be in a new job. You think it's going to be in a promotion. No, it's not. You think it's going to be in another guy or another woman. No, no, no. Misery, actually, misery loves company. And all these companies are actually out there trying to separate you from your wallet. They are waiting for you to come to the mall for, 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 for shopping therapy. They're waiting for you to come uh, to the drug to the drug house for drug therapy. They're waiting for you to come to the bar for drinking therapy. They're waiting for you to come to social media for something other than this. for ego therapy. So, Bridget said, this is so for me. So, so you got to have a high frequency agenda. That's right, Jennifer. Uh, Denise, thank you very much. Drop the mic, James Nelson says. So, I think it may say, mean, finish the video and get off the floor. So, so you've got to, you've got to figure out what your agenda is, what your brand is, what your identity is. You gotta love yourself first. You combine self-esteem with getting the memo on money. You get your self-esteem right, you get your confidence right, you get your role models right, all right? You get your credit score right, which means nobody can discriminate you from you, discriminate against you in a capitalist free enterprise world because when you apply on something online, they're not checking your race, they're checking your credit score. And if you have a fiber to credit score, they're not giving you a loan. They're not, they're not fulfilling your dreams. They're not, they, you can't even pay the toll at the toll booth for the on-ramp or the off-ramp. But if you have a 700 credit score, I'm on fire on this topic that Smith, uh, Bessie says. If you have a 700 credit score, you have high self-esteem, you have high confidence, you have, you have adopted good role models, right? You have, uh, you, you're hanging around positive and aspirational people, because, which is the opposite of you hang around nine broke people, you'll be the 10th. That means you hang around nine successful people, you'll be the 10th. You hang around nine architects, you'll be the 10th architect. You hang around nine engineers, you'll be the 10th engineer. Whatever you want to be, I want you to hang around. That's right, Shelly, get the memo. And if you do those things, you'll start to become hopeful. You'll start to become optimistic again. Your cynicism will be replaced with skepticism. There's nothing wrong with being skeptical. I want you to be skeptical of me. God says, he says, I don't mind you being skeptical of me. In fact, God says, check me out. Jesus says, check me out. You'll find that I'm all good. And when you check somebody out like that, you'll convince yourself. That's just called good underwriting. When somebody comes at you with something, I want you to check them out. Politician comes at you, check them out. Community leader comes at you, check them out. Organization comes at you, that's right, the Hope Doctrine on Poverty. Who just said that? Pull that up on the internet. Uh, that's Daryl uh, Daryl Bennett. Internet, check that. Hope Doctrine on Poverty. Print it out, put it on your wall. You need the opposite of the Hope Doctrine on Poverty. Bridget says, preach that. And it's the Hope Doctrine on Wealth, and that's what I just put in my new book, the memo, the Hope Doctrine on Wealth. So I'm now talking about wealth building and not just identifying poverty in my next book. So, so and once you have those things in yourself, now you, the, you see, as Jennifer said, the glasses have 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 full, not half empty. It's the same glass, just the same as how you see it. So you have high self-esteem now. 
you have high confidence, which means no one else can identify you. With, no, identify you. So if some racist wants to call me a bunch of names, I say, that's fine. I just hit you with my wallet and knock you out. I'm not going to hit you with my hand. I'm not going to put a hand on you. I'm going to knock you out with my wallet. I'm going to knock you out with my Merge Express black card. I'm not going to curse out you in your clan rally. I'm going to buy your clan house and shut it down. <laughs> right, we're not going to get mad. We're going to get even. Right? The best revenge is living well. So now you have high confidence, you have high self-esteem. It's not what people call you, it's what you answer to that's important. Now you've got good role models. Now you have an enabling environment. Now you're optimistic. Now you see opportunity everywhere, and that is the beginning of wealth. And now when you change your mind, your spirit, you begin to change your pocket. Now you're on a, now you're on a road to success, and no one can stop you. So when my friend said, why am I unhappy? And, why, and, what, and, and are these, am I about to get into trouble by going to the mall? Yes, you are, because they're waiting for you. Am I going to get in trouble going to the clubs? Yes, you are, because they're waiting for you. Well, am I going to get in trouble hanging out with, you know, trying to find my, my, my love in a new man or a new woman? Yes, you are, because you're going to attract what you are. If you have low self-esteem, you're going to attract low self-esteem. If you're miserable, you're going to attract miserable. If you're disconnected, you're going to attract disconnected. If you're needy, you're going to attract needy. But check this out. A giver and a giver is exotic. A giver and a taker is neurotic, and a taker and a taker is, is psychotic. I will drop the mic right here, <laughs> okay? I'm going to repeat that. A taker and a taker is psychotic in a relationship. A giver and a taker is neurotic, and a giver and a giver is exotic. Don't you want exotic in your life? That's where I am, an exotic location right now. Don't you want exotic? Boom. So I want you to understand that you got to figure out your own on-ramp and your own off-ramp. When you get on the freeway, get when you get on the freeway, make sure you're on the right freeway. Make sure you get on the right on-ramp because you can get on the right, you get on the wrong on-ramp onto the wrong freeway, you will be, be heading in the wrong direction too dang on fast. Uh, Jennifer, you want me to repeat what? The three, the three things? Drop the mic. Uh, uh, okay, I'll try to repeat that. I think some, a couple people want me to say that. Okay. A, this is the defining a relationship. It, 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 any kind of relationship, uh, I just dropped the mic on that, I just, said, I just said, drop, dropped the mic on that point. It, relationship between mother and father, between brother and sister, between brother and brother, between business people, uh, business, between business partners, between husband and wife, between girlfriend and boyfriend. It, 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 here's the deal. If it's, a give, if it's a taker and a taker, no, if it's a, it, well, yeah, if it's a taker and a taker in a relationship, that's psychotic. Can't help but fail. Can't help but be miserable. It's dark. If it's a giver and a taker relationship, let's say you're the giver, but you're with a taker, that's psychotic. I mean, that's neurotic. You're going to have a neurotic situation. They, that other person is going to pimp you, take advantage of you, because that's the only muscle they know how to use is to be a taker. And you're giving, which means you're going to be drained. Can you, re, can you relate to that? I know you're going to give me some, some, hands, some, some thumbs up on that. Doesn't, that. doesn't that sound so familiar? Come on now, talk to me. I'm waiting. I'm going to make sure you, you, that you understand what I'm saying. This is most, most people's relationship is a giver and a taker. And because you put your values on somebody else, you assume they're a good person. There you go. You assume that they're honorable. You assume that they're loving. You assume that they got good credit. You assume they want a good job. You, want to, you assume they want the best for you. You assume that they want your success. You assume that you, they want your independence because that's what you want for them. No, 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 no. A taker wants to drain you. <laughs> Because hurt people hurt people. And they're miserable when they want you miserable too. So the only thing that works really sustainably, and this is magic in a bottle, is a giver and a giver. All right? And that's why you and I work. Because you're a giver and I'm a giver. That's why this relationship works. That's why this page is, is growing at 10,000 uh, new likes and followers a week. Because people want to be positive. They want, uh, they want solutions in their life. They don't, they're tired of, of speeches and, 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 and people calling them victims. You're not a victim, you're a victor, which doesn't mean somebody's not trying to pimp you, not trying to take advantage of you. It doesn't mean you're not being victimized. You're just not a victim because you see your life differently, because you see yourself differently, because you refuse to give in or give up. As Dr. King said, no one can ride your back unless you're bent over. Straighten, out your, straighten up your back. Straighten up your life. Get on the right on-ramp. Get on the right freeway and don't get off that dang on freeway for no bum, no punk, somebody who wants something from you, don't want to give nothing to you, for a bunch of people trying to distract you from your goal. Nothing works in life without hard work. 
Only in the dictionary does the word success come before the word work because it's alphabetical. Every place else, the word work comes before the word success. Nothing good comes easy. Whatever you love will drive you crazy. It will exhaust you because love is work. Non-love is laziness. Anti-love is evil. Evil exists. It's very rare. Most people are just lazy, emotionally lazy, psychologically lazy, physically lazy, spiritually lazy. They just don't want to do the work. I'm going to drop the mic with this statement once again. Get on the right, find the right freeway for you. Make sure it's going in the right direction of your goals. You may not know where you're going, but at least make sure it's going in the right direction. Make sure the people in the car with you are positive people who have your best interests in mind and in heart. Otherwise, you need to let these people out. You, you, see, you say, look, I can do bad all by myself. I don't need help. I don't need you helping me. I can do bad all by myself. Or as Quincy Jones told me one day, the only thing worse than being alone is wishing that you were. <laughs> Get on that freeway and, and stay focused and don't let anybody distract you. And don't get off of that freeway until you see the on-ramp with your name on it. And you'll know it. You'll feel it in your gut. You'll feel it in your heart. You'll feel it in your head. You'll feel it in your spirit. A giver and a giver, exotic. A giver and a taker, neurotic. A taker and a taker, is psychotic. Uh, you can do bad all by yourself. I'm out. John Hope Bryant, unbought, unbossed, and unbiased. Coming to you straight and no chaser. From Mexico! I'm back, you guys. I'm revitalized. I got energy again. And uh, we got the book coming out next month, and I'm coming back next week. We're going to have a killer series on the show series on Facebook, sponsored by Facebook. That's coming big. It's episodic. You'll be seeing a promotion on it on this page. Tell all your friends it's an episodic series with segments. And then I'll still be doing these lives here on top of that, but the episodic series is going to be sick. The book, and that's called Delivering the Memo. The book, The Memo, comes out September 18th. Make it a bestseller so we can show folks that success and hope really wins. I'm out. I love you. Unbought, unbossed, and unbiased. Coming to you straight and no chaser. Talk to you soon.